So we're back out in the woods. Just went and picked up the skid loader. Dad found some ground wasp or something yesterday. Hit him, got stung to the living something. Um, got it out, he's got a, uh, kind of a junkier bee suit on. But now we're kind of on the adventure to uh, plant some of the stuff we disc last week. And kind of up here on the hill. Trying to just plant some stuff to get some wildlife, some food for the winter, because winters can kind of be tough around here. And that's why we're just trying to help them a little bit to give them a little bit of something to eat and chew on over the next couple months. Here we go. Kind of our, our mixing up, we got a little bit of clover mix kind of trying to put in on the trails and things like that. Turnip mix is gonna be going out here. As you can see, we kind of got some stuff already growing. This was planted a couple months ago. A lot of different ryes, turnips, radishes, things like that. Just trying to give them some food for the winter. What kind of coverage we're looking for. This is the first bag of mix we're putting down. Little tall tine tubers, some turnips. Big thing that's in this one is some turnips, turnips, and everything else. So honestly at this point, just kind of some big turnips for kind of birds, deer, and things like that to eat. Just a little more self-sufficient, sustainable. Also, it's gonna work to try to break up the soil. The soil hasn't been plowed in quite a few years. So these nice big root crops going in, gonna break up the soil and put some more nutrients back in to maybe put something up here other than turnips or different things like that. Maybe some clover next year, to be determined. As you can see, some of these radishes and different turnips and things like that get pretty big. I mean, you can't wrap a hand around that one. But a lot of the stuff's already kind of starting to get munched on, so if you come in just a little bit, you can see some spots. There's some spring pea stuff over there that were kind of nibbled on already. But just some more stuff, gives them a chance, a little more food. Just like that, all dragged down. First stuff, next stuff, we're gonna make some clover, put on the trails, kind of go from there. Out here trying to mix some stuff up. Well, that one's not as cool a color.
So we're about 14 days later. The bees are going to take their Varroa treatment off. We'll kind of see how they did. Hopefully they're doing well. Um, kind of go from there. I got to weed whip around them again, just like the last time. Also, I got a couple honey supers in case we can add one or two on. That's kind of the goal of the day as well. But yeah, just going to break into it, take those pads back off, throw that in the compost pile, and hopefully we got some happy, healthy bees. Plus, we'll check over on these frames over here, the ones that we did a little switcheroo on, and got them back down to deeps to see if they actually built some more comb off of that. Well, after a nice warm morning playing with some bees, um, overall, everything's looking good. Ended up adding one honey super. We added this green one down here. A couple bees flying, still don't like me. Just like that, we're back from messing with the bees. Everything went pretty well. A um, couple hives, I think, are doing a little rough. Others are doing really, really good. I added a honey stupor on one of the hives today. So, one more. I think we have maybe two and a half, three honey supers full of honey right now. And we still have another flow, hopefully, here coming this mid to late August and in, into September. So, hopefully, we can get that to four or five. I don't know. To be determined still. But, kind of... This morning, along with trying to pick some more beans to get those all starting to dry, I think we're going to start chopping up some garlic, setting my seed garlic aside so I know what I have, know what I can sell, and kind of from there, I guess pick whatever is in the garden to get rid of. Got some tomatoes, peppers, and things like that to try to get rid of. Um, went and looked through the squash and zucchini and cucumbers patch out in the field. Those are looking really, really well today. So hopefully, fingers crossed. We get some of those starting to shoot up next week and maybe try to bring them to market to be determined, but kind of go from there. And it is a hot, warm day and working a couple hours outside with the bees. Um, yeah, it got warm today. So hopefully it doesn't get too warm. Try to get my stuff done here before the morning before the sun really comes out and starts baking me. And like always, there might be another tractor in our near future, but to be determined, I guess we'll see if we stick with the same colors of orange and green, or maybe we add another one to the mix. I don't know. We'll find out. We are doing a little bit of stuff in the garden. Probably gotta run around and go back to school and get ready for that. That's coming right around the corner. Um, but yeah, so the first thing we're gonna do today is we're gonna pail of kind of some junk, peppers, tomatoes, things like that, that I didn't quite get around to sell, didn't quite get, ready to get rid of yet so we're bringing them over to the birds the birds are going to get some of that today um kind of how today's going to go is going to pick some beans pick some more tomatoes some peppers things like that so we're going to open it up give some to the birds let them eat a little bit i got to go pick some stuff today hoping to get the birds let out here maybe by the end of the week to into next week but gotta figure out that coyote situation still. But yeah, let's head over to the garden. Uh oh, looks like I got something water and mess going on. After some investigation, looks like one of my drip line hoses decided to let go. So I guess we got a little extra water here, but my herbs are actually doing pretty good. Hoping to maybe pick a couple of these for market this week. Fennel's looking okay back there. But the main thing we're gonna try to get is the rest of these couple peppers you can start to notice i have some tomatoes starting to become nice and juicy and red so you got to kind of pick those today and then the next thing we're going to jump over on the other side of the garden here is i have a whole bunch of these beans starting to be ready to pick and these beans are all drying beans so if we jump it here we'll take this one here that looks kind of dry oh, nothing in that one We'll come down here to my pintos that I know we're looking okay. Weeds in the garden look terrible, but to me they're livable right now because we're towards the end. Uh, most of these aren't too dry yet. They're getting there. Um, let's see here. What do we got here? I guess we'll just pick that. So kind of what I'm looking for today is you're gonna crack the holes and this is what we're looking for on the inside here it's nice beautiful beans we're gonna take these we're gonna dry them out and these will be used for like chilies and different things like that but I have 
two partial rolls full of them so we got to try to get those all picked today i'm probably going to take all my peas in the back probably pull all of them today too those are mainly all done do the same thing with those dry them out to get some pea pods to have some pea seeds for next year that's kind of the big goals of the day picking all the bean pods on this tomatoes peppers over there and calling her a day hopefully i have enough today's tuesday hopefully i have enough that i can bring some over to the market tomorrow and you know sell more than just the honey and the maple syrup maybe some eggs and try and sell some peppers tomatoes um garlic's looking really really well i'm probably going to try to take some of these garlic as well with me my garlic and shallots you can see most of them are starting to brown up pretty well here and dry out these are the first ones we put on these ones will probably get taken down today and clipped same with a couple of these back here and my big sale pile here i'm going to try to clip and do the same thing just try to bring some to the market but yeah that's today picking beans tomatoes peppers things like that see what happens with a little bit of help from of my mom's daycare kiddos shout out silas we got i'd probably say half of the beans picked maybe a third um the ones on my right are jacob's cattle the ones on my left are pinto beans um overall feeling pretty good these were two full pails i'm hoping to get a, a, quite a few beans off of this um for those interested in not knowing what maybe these beans are so the ones on the left are my jacob's cattle the ones on the right are my pinto beans um, these beans are mainly used for in like drying, like baked beans and chilies and things like that. Um, over the past couple years, I've been trying to grow enough to actually use some. I've just really been made, able to only make seed stock out of them. So hopefully, being that this is only half, and I do have a row or two out here that little weedy, but hopefully it might produce some. It's kind of the goal is hopefully get a couple more and actually use some this year. But like I said, I think we only have half of them picked at least maybe. So. There might be some more in the future. Stay tuned. Let's see how many we get by the end of the week. Finally got a chance to get back outside here. The uh, beans and everything are starting to dry up pretty nice. These were from yesterday. And you can kind of already see it. They're starting to get crispy. Ended up pulling some peas because I wanted to save some of them as well. Same thing here with my pinto beans. Everything's all looking pretty good. I'm drying up and kind of go from there garden and thing like that looks pretty wilty right now with not getting a little bit of water in the last couple days but trying to hit it here maybe later tonight tomorrow morning get some water and kind of go from there well kind of sitting outside here hot warm day um got some stuff done in the garden like we said got those beans picked those are all looking dry um actually cut some garlic some people were looking for some garlic actually try to get rid of a couple bundles of garlic today um, but big news, like always, run the hunt for another tractor. If you can see on the other side of everything, the truck's hooked up, skid loaders on a trailer, running up to the cabin, trying to get some work done, ended up finding something earlier in the week, kind of have something lined up. So we're adding a new color, um, tentative plans right now, as long as everything goes through, we're adding at least one farm all. Um, you'll see that here in a second or two. But it's, yeah, another project. Not like we have enough of them right now in the yard anyways, but uh, sadly, cleaning the tanks, still a little murky, dirty tanks. Um, ended up looking for a couple car pieces, really couldn't find them, so sadly, no John Deere running tonight. Um, RC tank though, over here, does actually look pretty well. It's got that sitting in fuel oil right now and try to soak some of the stuff out of it, try to keep the rust out of it for right now in between the time of putting it back on the tractor and now. So that's kind of where we're at right now. Keep that setting in some fuel, kind of soften some stuff up, hopefully maybe seep in the metal and kind of just create a barrier so the rust doesn't get in like it was before and rust at the bottom of the tank again. But that's kind of where we are right now. Hopping in the truck here tomorrow morning sometime, picking some stuff along the way and fingers crossed hoping to put a tractor on the trailer and who knows might pick up another one or two from this guy kind of to be determined kind of seeing what he's got it sounds like he found a couple pretty much scrapping them out and scraps cheap right now so he sold his tractors cheap we bought one so far maybe more kind of to be determined seems like he had a lot of farm malls 
I think there's a case there. A lot of H's, so. Yeah, let's see what the weekend brings. So, here we are, new location, a couple hours north. Ran up to the cabin, ended up getting another tractor like always. So, recently picked up a Farmall B. Um, nice little tractor, it's got some work to it in the future. When the shifting forks broke, a couple of these gears are rounded off. Um, somebody put a hydraulic system on it at one point, but sit up on the trailer now, pulled it out. It does have a pair of front wheel weights and rear wheel weights. And there's another one kind of laying off to the side here, just kind of thrown on. But yeah, another project. Keep in store. I don't know what they're doing with this one yet. This one is not mine, it's my mom's slash father's and who knows maybe by the end of the weekend there might be another piece of red laying around at the cabin but kind of right now we got to take skid loader off when you dig a trench here trying to put a little bit of drain from the basement and try and get some work done but yeah hook in the back go up see the old skid loader pulling that off getting some work done today so let's see what happens so kind of got the skid loaded off, did a little trenching, decided to come up here a little bit. So this is kind of the pump setup they got running on this B right now. A little sketchy, not too bad. Overall, like I said before, it's not too bad. Um, generally don't know what the year is, so there's a wasp there, just flew into it. Um, I'll put the serial number in like I always do. But yeah, this is the old new girl. Not a bad little tractor, I don't think. Give me a nice one. Talking about maybe trying to put a second seat over here if it actually runs and drives. After further look into it, there was some antifreeze into the motor, but the motor itself actually turns over, which is always a good sign to start at least. So, kind of starting from somewhere, going from somewhere. I'm just going to see what happens. But along with that rear end stuff, we are missing a generator alternator situation there. Probably going to try to put an alternator on and get to 12 volt at some point in its life, but again, another project. So if we come over to the digging, we dug this first little bit here, all the way up the first couple feet with the forks over there. Then we hooked up the backhoe under the skid loader, dug this. We put this basement in last year, wood foundation. There is drain tile around it all the way. Need to put drain tile here. To run it out to the back about five six feet drop so the water will flow out of it plus we're gonna put a water line in this as well and hook it here somewhere because where the truck's at right now in that tractor we're gonna put a shed at some point but as you can see tools are laying around the old backhoe right now blew a seal here so now we're kind of at a point of trying to get a snap players to get that off try to see if we can find a new seal maybe tomorrow if not Got to try to find something, rent something to get this dug out and get something done this weekend. Oh, gotta love when stuff breaks. So we made it back home from the cabin. Everything's on the trailer still. Gotta try to get that off some point today. Um, being a school starting up here in the next couple weeks, my time's really cut short. So I gotta get a lot of projects done here to be able to fit stuff back into the shed. Um, Give me a long couple weeks, but hopefully a fun couple weeks. Get rid Thing done projects done might have to get a portable shed put some stuff in but it's kind of where we are that's what we got to do um but yeah thanks again like always you can find us on facebook like share subscribe and until next time